Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another weekly auction house update video and today, but before we get into today's video, here is an insight of things to come. Well ladies and gentlemen, it is a beautiful day outside, wait a minute, I'm getting spidey senses. What is that in that M4 exhaust? What could that possibly be? What is this? A secret note? What could this possibly be? Is this a message? Oh my god. No. <gasps> Please. No. A sign from the gods? The Razier? Tachyon? And, uh, well, yeah, we've got some very interesting news surrounding the Razier Tachyon, the 850 CSI, the GMC Typhoon in its 3 million credit appreciation. So without further ado, give the video a like, otherwise I will sell this Hurricane 2014 Hurricane, it's not even Hurricane Performante because I'm too poor at the moment, and uh, buy that Ford Fiesta. Do you want to see Zanch cruising around in a Ford Fiesta? The choice is yours. Anyway, drop a gear, disappear. And I'll see you in there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I have good and bad news today. More good than bad. So, without further ado, let's start with the bad. Now, as you can see here, this week, Forza Horizon 4 has decided to bring back the Razer Tachyon Speed in the Forza Thon shop for 600 Forza Thon points. And because of this, the depreciation is in full effect. Now, last week, this thing, as we all know, was at 20 million credits, and as of today, we've dropped down to 16 million credits. A 4 million credit depreciation in the past following three days. Now, my advice to you would be, go and get it sold today, because we do not know if this current depreciation figure will go down to 10 million, to 12 million, or even way down to 8.5 million credits in the next following day. So my advice to you would be, go and get it sold today for the maximum buyout price to be safe, and you can always get a free one, anyway, of today of 16 million credits. Sell, sell, sell. But at number one, the ruined Razier Tachyon speed. Moving on. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, on to the good news. Coming in at number two on today's list, the 850 CSI is at the maximum buyout price of 20 million credits. Now, as you can see here, on the 8th of April 2021, literally last week, this thing was sitting at 12.865 million. And since then, we've seen an 8 million credit appreciation as of today at the final maximum buyout price of 20 million credits. Sell, sell, sell. Well done for holding if you held. Well done. Go and reap your rewards today for 20 million credits. Now, bringing us number three on today's list, we've seen a 2 million credit appreciation in the Alfa Romeo 155. Now, as you can see here, on the 8th of April 2021, again, last week, this thing was sitting at 6.5 million credits, 6.554 million. And as of today, we've seen a 2 million credit appreciation up to 8.508 million. Now, my advice to you would be, and listen to me here, hold. I'm not going to sell here. You can sell if you want, if you want a quick 8 mil credits, but this thing was once a 20 million, well, 19.836 million credit car, and I believe it's going to appreciate back up to that price in a few weeks' time. Now, this comes with a caution of warning. It could not. It might be capped at 10, it might be capped at 12, it might not appreciate past 8.5, but this thing was once a 20 million credit car, and once cars were once 20 mil, they have a tendency, just like the 850 CSI has done, to bounce back. So personally, I'm going to hold, but this is your choice. But we've seen a 2 million credit appreciation, which is good news across the board. Number three, the Alfa Romeo 155. Now, bringing us to number four on today's list, good news surrounding the Rimac Concept 2. Now, last time when I detailed this car, it was sitting at around about 6.5 million credits, up to 8.5 million. And as of today, we're seeing it raised to 10.271 million. Now, this is my personal choice. I know from experience that these things do not hold their market value very, very well. So personally, I'm getting mine sold today for the highest ever risen price of 10.271 million. It's up to you what you do with yours. You can sell like me, or if you think they're going to appreciate in the future, be sure to hold. But as of today, the Rimac Concept 2 has risen to its final ever highest price of 10.271 million.
Moving on. Now, bringing us number five on today's list, the M3 GTR is going through the roof. Now, yesterday, this thing was at 14.3 million credits, and as of today, it seesawed back down to 11.541 million. Now, will it go up tonight at midnight, back up to 14 million? 50-50, it could, or it could go down. I'm going to take the risk today and not sell it 11.541 and see if it goes back up tonight at midnight because that's when prices either appreciate or depreciate. But if viewers at home, if you've got a few in your garage and you want to go get them sold and you didn't know they were appreciated by this amount, go and get it sold today for the highest buyout price of 11.541 million. At number five, the M3 GTR is booming. Moving on. Now, at number six, and this is probably the most important car on today's list, boys and girls, my work is finally done covering the brand new Mustang Shelby GT500. One out of three of them have, no, two out of three, the C8 reached, the Corvette C8 is now at 19 million, and so is the Mustang Shelby GT500. As of today, this thing is sitting at 19.131 million. Now, as you can see here, on the 8th of April last week, I was detailing this car. I was predicting it was going to race to 15 million credits and then never move again. And back then, we were on 12.261 million. But patience pays off. And for those of you that have hoarded a few in your garage, go and get it sold today for the maximum buyout price of 19.131 million. Now, we've only got one more... Um, muscle car to worry about and that is the Shelby 1000 and that thing's been made available to obtain so that's why that's at 6.5 million credits thank you Forza Horizon 4 for bringing back another rare car and ruining its appreciation but anyway boys and girls if you've got a few Shelby GT500s go and get them sold today for the highest price of 19 million Moving on. Now, bringing us number seven on today's list, finally, finally, boys and girls, we are seeing an appreciation in the GMC Typhoon. Now, as you can see here, cast your mind back to this date, the 20th of February 2021, this thing was sitting at a depreciated price of 4.105 million. As of today, we're back up, doubled in price to 7.919 million. Now, personally, this thing was once a 19 million credit car. I'm going to hold on to mine because I want to see if it passes past 12 million credits. But viewers at home, if you've got a few in your garage, go and get them sold. Do not roll the dice like me. We don't know where it's going to land. Go get a quick, cool 8 million credits. But personally, I'm going to hold, but the choice is yours. But as of today, we've seen a double in appreciation in the GMC. Moving on. Oh, bringing us to number 8 on today's list. Probably the most covered car on this goddamn channel. The Range Rover Velar. As you can see here, on the 21st of March 2021, this thing was sitting at 8.110 million, and since then, a 4 million credit appreciation, baby. As of today, we're sitting at 12.671 million. These things are booming for some reason. Personally, I'm going to see if this thing raises to 15 million credits and then get all my stock sold. But if you've got a few in your garage, go and get them sold today for 12.671 million. Your investments are paying off. Sell, sell, sell. Anyway, at number eight, the Velar. Moving on. Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, look who was 100% correct on the AMG Hammer. Now, for those of you at home that kept questioning me and saying the AMG Hammer's never going to appreciate, it's been depreciated too low. Well, let's talk about it. As you can see here, on the 21st of March 2021, the AMG Hammer was made available to obtain in the Horizon Super 7, and everybody and their mother decided to sell it, so it depreciated down to 4.002 million. And guess what? As of today, <coughs> 12.212 2 million. And that was in my investment guide, and it looks like your trust in me, boys and girls, pays off. No clickbait around here, no lies, facts. These things take me three hours to make. My research, everything I do, I put time and effort into it. And as of today, we are back at 12.212 million. Now, personally, I'm holding. I want to see if it raises to 15. But if you got a few in your garage when I told you to go invest last month, go and get them sold and play it safe for 12.212 million. Thank you for trusting me. And, you, well, these are the rewards. Anyway. Moving on. 
last and most definitely not least on today's list, and this is why I am an auction house guru, as you can see here. On the 8th of April 2021, in what cars are selling for millions of credits, hashtag 15, I detailed the AMG GT 4-door coupe. Back then it was selling for 12.868 million, and I got a few questions saying, why would you sell it for 12 million? Why wouldn't you hold it and go up to 15 million? Well, as you can see here, with closed captions on, this is what I said. These things do not hold their price very, very well. So I would advise you to go sell back then for 12.868 million. As of today, ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> the AMG GT4 door coupe is now at 6.668 million credits. And that is why you listen to me when it comes to cars. But anyway, for those of you that didn't sell it last week... My advice to you would be hold, do not sell it. I think it's been made available to obtain this week on the festival update or something, or the Horizon Super 7. I haven't checked it. There must be a reason why it's depreciated by half, but it's still not depreciated down to 3 million, down to 1 million, so it's still in a green zone, kind of, and will appreciate in the future. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, Leave a like because I want a Lamborghini Aventador SVJ in Nardo Red in real life. And when I do, it'll be because you liked the video. So when you see the TikToks of me <coughs> past um, in England, well, just think your likes paid for that. Anyway, boys and girls, I will see you tomorrow in another daily upload. Peace and love. And, uh, well, keep your bank account fat and you should have sold the GT4 Dark Coupe when I told you to. Anyway, bye-bye. Love you. Bye. Yeah.